So tonight I'm going to be staying in a futuristic and pretty cool capsule hotel right here in Singapore. Hi, we're Stephen, Jess and Little Hunter who've just finished an incredible few days right here in Singapore. But with one night left before we head over to Europe for the winter, <laughs> I'm going to spend a night in a cheap capsule hotel right here in Singapore. Hey everyone, super quickly, Stephen from the future. <laughs> I just wanted to apologize. The last month, our upload schedule has been just crazy. Like two weeks and then one video, and then it's another two weeks until another video. We just wanted to let you guys know, we apologize. We've had an incredible, incredible time. Finland in Africa doing our expeditions. Also meant we we're super, super busy, but now we have a moment to breathe and we're going back to our normal upload schedule of every Sunday. So thank you so much for bearing with us and we totally understand if you've been feeling like where's the videos been we're back we got all our fun videos from all those places now let's show you guys singapore before the videos fly off to europe thank you guys so much for your understanding we'll chat soon hey everybody and welcome back to singapore we've been here for the last five nights staying at a really nice spot and i thought just before we head off to europe away from this beautiful summer to a very cold and white christmas i thought i'd show you somewhere else cool to stay in singapore especially if you've got a flight to catch in the morning. I just realised on the four or five times I've been to Singapore, first time coming to Arab Street, I love these traditional buildings just in front of this massive metropolis behind it. <laughs> so futuristic. <laughs> Always come check out the rooftop first and I can see the Singapore flyer just there and Arab Street just below but let's go see we're sleeping for the night. Trying to find my room. So I've just come inside my pod and um, it is pitch black in here. Where does my key go? We have light. Let's show you guys around my little space pod. Alrighty everybody, welcome to my little space pod that I'm gonna be sleeping in tonight. It's these capsule hotels that have been seen popping up everywhere around the world and I really just wanted to test one out because it's such a low cost option for you to stay if you have a layover in Singapore or you just want somewhere cheap to stay. Now first impressions, walking down Arab Street trying to find it. It's definitely giving off hostel vibes, like you walk in there, it's just this little building, you walk up some stairs, like these things are kind of just being mass produced and placed in an empty room and Luckily, I think I've noticed this, if the blue light isn't on outside, there's no one above you. But I hope no one's staying above me uh, at some point tonight because I definitely think you feel all the creaks that happen in this. Like, I don't think this is fully enclosed. I was just looking through the mattress to show you how thick it was. It's about a couple of small mattresses stacked on the top. And um, I think I saw outside. <laughs> but hey, if you're looking for it, just somewhere to put your head, this is a great option, honestly, because so many times just any bed is the perfect bed. But let's give you guys a tour. This place is called Meta Space Pod, and you can find them in quite a few places around the world. To control your pod, of course, you need your room key. Otherwise, it's pitch black. That's going to let you lock and unlock your door. And then there's a first nozzle here. It says ambient light, so I'm fully expecting to make it brighter or make it darker, but no. <laughs> it changes the room to whatever disco you feel like. From green to purple to blue. The lights are touchscreen and you just drag it up and down depending on how bright you want it. Next to it, you also have the fan so you can control how much fan you want. We also have an aircon remote. We've got two charging ports. So, so far, I don't see any form of AC charger. It's just for your phone, so plugging it in with USB, that's going to be your best way. And also headphones if you're wanting to listen to the TV, which we have behind us. Now, I opted in for a double space pod because I wasn't sure how big they are. And uh, definitely the double is so unnecessary. There is just so much space in here. They have given lockers with the double space to get two lockers. Enough to store a backpack, maybe a small carry-on suitcase. Otherwise, you can just leave it outside. I could bring my luggage in here and still be very comfortable. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna go check out the shower, wash up a bit and then head to bed. Like coming in here, it's just like a hostel, so at least you're not sharing with a whole bunch of people. It's maybe 10 pods per floor and there's about four or five, but we have these toilets just to ourselves. You have shampoo, conditioner, shower, toilet all in one, and I think I can hear the call to prayer. 
Alrighty, sounds like all the pods are starting to fill up, so I'm gonna head to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning and let you know my review of how comfy my sleep was. See you guys. Morning, guys. Didn't sleep too bad, actually. Not too bad. Alrighty, we've got a very long flight to Europe. Let's go catch up with the rest of the team. Morning everyone, this is our final morning here in Singapore and it is our warmest day that we've had so far so we are taking that all in because after this we're going to be spending the next few weeks in uh, some pretty cold spots so today we're going to be chilling out at the resort. Hunter is loving this place so much. Someone's face painting, she is loving it and yeah just going to enjoy this warm weather before we head to the snow. We just wanted to say a massive thank you to EcoFlow for partnering up with us on this video to tell you guys about their brand new River Pro portable power station. So the River Pro is fantastic because it's so compact and durable. And if you aren't after like the big one we have, which is the Delta Pro that we did during our van life trip, this is a great alternative. You can still charge up to two AC devices and nine devices at the same time. Plus it has 720 watts. So definitely gonna get a lot of juice out of this little guy. Plus just because it's small, doesn't mean it's not compatible with the EcoFlow solar panels. You can easily just pick up the solar panels, plug them in, and you'll start charging your portable power station from the sun. Plus, just say you're having your own adventure at home and you had a power surge and knocks out all your power. With the EcoFlow Times Boost, you can actually boost this up to 1800 kilowatts. So you can plug things in, um, like Jess's favorite thing, the air fryer. Plus, Great. just say you're in a hurry, forgot to charge up your device. If you plug it into AC, you can go from dead, so 0%, up to 80% within the hour. Plus, leave it on charge for an extra half an hour and you'll get a full charge. Plus, this thing weighs under 16 pounds, so it's super easy to just take it with you. So if you're interested in picking up an EcoFlow River Pro for your next camper van or camping trip, I'll leave an exclusive discount code in the description below. Now, let's head back to the travel. I'm excited, I've been waiting years to check out the jewel here at Changi Airport in Singapore. This has got to be one of the most beautiful airports I've ever seen. But we've never been to this part of the airport before. What's oh it? my gosh, there's like a gigantic waterfall. It's funny, it's the first time we've come early to an airport because our flight isn't for another four and a half hours, but we wanted to come and check this out. We need to get downstairs. This is so cool. How is this an airport terminal? <laughs> it's similar to the one they have at Marina Bay Sands, but it's literally just this waterfall gushing down. One, two, three, four stories. And then it goes to like this vortex and you can go see it underground as well because this shopping center is just so huge. They even have a full-size supermarket here. After being here for like half an hour, you just forget that you are at an airport. <laughs> I'm still blown away. There's a full-blown IMAX here. Seven screens of cinemas. If you had a layover, you just don't need to leave this place. That's pretty cool. We're gonna meet reindeers. Yay! And you get to meet husky doggies. Yay! And then we're gonna have snowball fights. And who are we gonna throw a snowball at? Oh, what? Yeah. And what should we name our snowman? Olaf. Um, Olaf? That is a very original name. <laughs> so, as you guys know, Hunter is uh, the kid from the Wild Thornbury show, if you remember that. She barely wears shoes. We just let her run, get dirty, whatever she wants to do. And uh, we're about to go to snow, so we're trying to hype her up. It's not a full wear in clothes shoes. But beanies, jackets, and gloves. What do we have to wear in the snow? Uh, um, uh, gloves. Gloves? Um, jackets. I think every parent out there who's tried to take a toddler to the snow can relate. So we'll see how we go. Which one flies in the sky? Is it the bike, the bus, or the helicopter? I get that. The helicopter, that's right. What color are fire chucks normally? Oh, red. Red, that's right. Good girl, Hunter. Everyone ready to sleep quiet in the warm? Hunter's ready, she's ready to build a snowman. I go. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, snowman. <laughs> to show you. This is her new headphones. Wow. First time she's ever used them. Whenever we... Do your sunburn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Too much sun. We're just being sunburned on a plane because it just feels so hot. She's already ready. Look at her. She's chilling. It is getting easier. Me and Jess can enjoy a movie now because she will watch a movie too. She picked out her headphones just before we left. Surprise? Oh. Probably like eye masks and stuff. Ooh. So they gave you a toothbrush. Earplugs, socks, 
and an eye mask. Oh, <gasps> no <gasps> surprise. Thank, Thank you. you. She got a little kids pack. Oh, what's this? Why does it already feel like it's a long day <laughs> and it hasn't even begun yet? Like we're flying Qatar to Qatar, seven hours, and then we have a four hour layover at 2 a.m. in the morning. And then, on, oh, we didn't even tell you guys where we're going. We're flying to Denmark. Alrighty, one flight down, second flight about to begin. Hi. Coconut. Coconut? Do you mean Copenhagen? Almost like an hour and 40 minutes. I felt like I had a separate age as I was expecting like 40 minutes left. <laughs> That's the hour 40 is still good. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Copenhagen. Oh, welcome daddy. You're gonna throw snow at me? Yeah. No. Daddy, 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 yet. No, not yet. Okay, daddy won't look. Daddy's not looking. For some reason, if you want to get Hunter changed and. She doesn't feel like getting change. <laughs> we play this game where whoever's dressed Hunter, um, the other person's not allowed to look till she's ready. And there's a big surprise. <gasps> what have you got on? Oh, so cute! Now she's So, we're staying in the heart of Copenhagen and pretty easy. Just jumping on the metro, which is just going to take us straight in there. Also, super cheap 22 bucks for the four of us, which usually airport transportation is a lot more. Oh, yeah, I got the lion. <laughs> the doggy looks like a lion. That's because it's so cold here, the doggies have to wear jackets. Cold? That is so cold. <laughs> Hunter, are you in there? Oh, okay, Bubba. I need to get her gloves out. Hunter, are you in there? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Elevator's broken, so um, they've been climbing up and down all these stairs. Oh, 